today's video is in what was known as the Pudding Bag Estate with the railway terraces. Currently I'm in one of the railway terraces here. I think this is where they actually brought some of the trains in from that wall though. That wall would have never have been there. Not very much in this room, but If you if you know exactly what this room is used for, drop it drop drop it in the comments. I'd love to know. Definitely, but I do think this is where they used to bring the trains in to fix them down there, or at least store them overnight. Now over the the other side of that fence, you see though, that's where the housing estate used to be, the pudding bag estate. And the reason it was called the pudding bag is because it was the only place where you could get the pudding in a bag, basically. And you have to eat it a certain way. A bit dark in here, but yeah, I've, I've actually got no clue what this room was used for. It looks like there was probably another wall or something over here. Yeah, you start on the left. Simple, basically, simple garages like this. I think that I think that one next door was the only one the trains actually came in because there was no lines that came in here. <laughs> no. These are like storage right houses. Yeah, we will be um, trying going along some of them old railway lines soon, just to show you. The bridge is actually in really bad condition that goes over. Robin's Lane is in very bad condition, as you guys will see. Let's see if there's anything around in here. Doesn't seem to be very much. Yeah, we have to be really careful through here as well because this roof doesn't look like it's going to hold out that much longer we have had just just had three storms in a matter of four days a bit excessive but the last one actually storm units caused a lot of damage yeah, this room is pretty much the same Exactly the same layout. Have you any idea what this was? These smaller rooms were used for. Yeah, they're over there. I know some of the sleepers are still over there from the old lines that used to run that down that side of the estate as well. Yeah. You've got traps coming off here, hitting here, so it's a massive junction, that's why Junction got its name, because this was, I think the first railway junction in, was this the first railway junction, or was it? Yeah, this was the first, the first railway yeah, junction here. Yeah, first railway, railway crossing, literally there. Um, but this area was two and three firsts, just here. That end shed was definitely, that was definitely for rolling train, so you can tell. People who tried to risk it, like jump into the traps, so you probably mentioned, been taken out by moving kids or stuff. They were, they, I, know, I know a few of the people actually got killed when they were doing the shunting, I think that's yeah, what you're yeah, on about. Yeah. I've seen that story. And they was forced to build a metal bridge over at Lines. Yeah. This, is, this is out back of them rooms, everyone. This is the back of the place. You can see it's in pretty bad condition. Let's see if we can get into this room on this side. What's in here? The roof is in bad, bad condition. We have a railway sleeper here, but it looks a bit all scaffolding. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be that much in here. Again, exactly the same layout as what was in the other rooms. bridge that's down there we will be trying to get up and over that bridge shortly see if we can stand on top of there 
Right, I'm at the housing estate. This is actually where the pudding bag housing estate was. There's only a couple of streets. There was about 200 residents that lived here and it was literally just built for the railway men. Because uh, there was, behind then that, that building there was a bunch of railways that ran down there, down, down there. And they went on and onto the main line. And then we had railways that split. Oh! Railways that split. And they went across the back down there to the other side of these houses, the pudding bag estate. So we'll be walking along where them lines were in just a moment. Just gonna have a quick look around uh, this this section. There, is, there was more houses down that way. There was also a little shop down here and a pub. As you can see, there is a railway station well, with LMH on it. Sorry if this video gets a little bit noisy. Now with that wind, it does get pretty strong from, from time to time. It's supposed to be easing off this afternoon. Hopefully it does. Now I don't advise people coming around here messing about. There's a lot of asbestos, there's a lot of glass and things like that. So there is a serious risk of getting hurt. Um, I do have my boots on and protective gear. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if this was part of the shop to be totally honest. With these, this brick floor like that. Ah, right. Right. Yeah, you can see with how thin they are, though, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and locate where the pub was, if we can. But yeah, it's hard to imagine this as a busy estate, very busy. You know, all the trains, all the trains lining up here, shunting, all the kids playing out on the fronts. Parents sat out on a hot day in these houses. And the, the road that ran down here, it's, it's actually hard to picture it when you see it in like this. I think my friend Lewis is shouting us. Trying to find my mate Lewis right now. <laughs> He's be hiding somewhere. Where are you, pal? Andy returns. Quite fell down and all. These don't even know it's taken the same time. Why not? I've got to stick it on to it. I don't know what's that there, so I'll put it on. There was a few people that died um, on this in this area where they were shunting the trains. And they were actually forced to build a metal bridge over the railway line to try and eliminate that not sure where that bridge would have been located but we'll try and have a look in, in a moment looks like we might have the remnants of at least one house or what was the pub Let's have a look here, see what's here. I'm trying to document the place before it disappears altogether. Definitely a pretty big building by the looks of it. I've got a feeling this might have been part of the pub, to be honest. It definitely looks like it might have been the toilet. So 
so kind of think that this was the pub or maybe the shop Now what have you found? All right. We found a stack of concrete sleepers, everyone. Look at them. The lines. See where all this long grass is here? Yeah. That's where there's about three or four lines that went down that way. I'm actually going to go down there and just have a quick look and see if there's anything along them lines. Um, I've got a funny suspicion though that lines might be on that side of the fence. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely where the railway lines yeah, yeah. were. It runs through these trees here. Yeah. yeah. That's where it connected on to the Liverpool Manchester line down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can definitely tell that. You can tell with all this stone here, this yeah. type of stone, that this was definitely the railways. Just take a second, I can walk along this line, see if there's anything along here, and then we'll be going back up that way towards the bridge. Doesn't seem to be anything along this section. As you can see, there's a lot of tyres and other junk just dumped on that end of the line. There, we can't get over though. So, what we'll do now is we'll trace the lines back down that way. <laughs> It's mad to think just how busy this used to be. Yeah. Yeah. We're just walking along where the lines were. <laughs> Another railway sleeper. It's not going to need any of them metal gauges on though. Now we're just going to carry on walking along these lines now, everyone. Well, I will try and get up the. It looks a little bit dangerous. Well, that's where the main line used to run across the top though. Follow that for a little bit. And then moving on to the next location. Yeah, you see the recent storm definitely brought some of these trees down here. That look, looks like an interesting feature down low. Okay, let's have a look down here. This is railway line used to run straight across the top of that hill there. I'm actually not sure what this was. Yeah, it is. Right, so I'm just going to make my way to the top there, everyone, where the railways once were. And I'll be back with you very, very soon. Okay, now we're at the top of the hill. This is where the railways would have run. I want some. I'm not sure what this is, it feels very mushy. 
Oh, okay. Might find some interesting things after all. See if there's any dirt on it. Oh, it's quite a big lump, isn't it? Hmm. I have no idea. It's quite heavy for what it is. It's got a purpose. It's got a valve of something in here. I can imagine that this would have been off one of the trains, you know. It's quite heavy enough. It looks. Look, it's got. It's some sort of filter. There's a pipe coming off here with a valve here. It could have been. Could have been with shim. There's no mark on it, isn't there? Probably. Is there nothing else around here that could? Just gonna have a quick look, everyone, and I'll see if we can find anyone else, anything else around here. Right. We make our way around to that ridge now on that side, where the railway lines. Well. Interest, some interesting little finds around here, that's for sure. Gotta be really careful where to stand. And this is the railway track. Or what was the railway track. See, so you've still got all that large grey stone that runs down the Right, everyone. Just gonna have a quick walk along this, well, what was a railway line. This went over towards Robins Lane. And we're just gonna have a look at the bridge at Robins Lane. This kind of looks like it was a bridge at one point as well. That would have been for that, for that second line down though. Now would have gone out to that way to bring in that second line that was just walking around before behind that house was there. That would have run over here as well. Yeah. Oh, looking at the angle though, that line came in and joined this line further up. But I think it was on a lower level to be honest, that line. I'm just going to quickly walk down this track see if there's anything else down here I'll be back with you all shortly as soon as I see anything interesting I shall be back with you right, we're near to the bridge now you can see the fence just over there now you can definitely see that the railway that we were just talking about was on a, on, on a lower level that's the, the bottom of this hill we're on the upper level track at the moment and we'll walk back down on the lower level in just a moment I want to just see if any of the old line remains on this bridge so we'll go and take a quick look there should be two bridges here actually not just the one there's something here. Oh yeah, look at that. No strut there. And there is the wall that actually had another bridge that went over the road to there. Now it doesn't look like we're going to be able to locate that, that railway line that was down there. So if you look at that, it looks like it's all been removed and they built houses on where that, that bridge once was. And again, it's on a much lower level to this. 
In fact, they've even removed the wall, the other wall on the other side there, haven't they? It's that, that bridge. Now we will be going up there at some point soon. We'll be getting on that side and we'll definitely be having a look. Here's the other bridge. You can see the level though. Now we'll walk along these railway lines. See if there's anything down here. It's way back to where that bridge used to be there. You can see the wall. And we were just walking along the top line there. We're on the lower line. This line would have gone behind the houses and put in Bank, bank Estate. When I say this line, I actually mean there would have been. Over here, pal. All right, Aaron. Just going to meet over without meet with the our other explorer. Hello. Flipping <laughs> that good to see you again, pal. Yeah, we're just we're just walking back down that track though. Right, we are now behind where well, them buildings are over here. Never, never check behind here. I'm just gonna take a look now and see what's what. I don't actually know why we came in this way when we could have just come in there. <laughs> Got another rotten sleeper. And then these girders that's here. There's a nice big hole. Definitely foundation for something. Oh yeah. You can see all the old, all the railway railway sleepers here. Yeah. I wonder what this was a foundation to. Pretty big as well, isn't it? Yeah. I've noticed a uh, change in the soil here. This is clay. The rest of it is just muck. This is a big pile of clay by the looks of it. So I'm wondering if this is where they dumped the spoil. Could have been. So it's clay, not sand. So it's just congealed over here. No, you can tell under your feet when you stand on it. It's clay. Yeah. <coughs> it could have just been the dumping ground, this. Anyone knows what the foundation here might have been? You can see these metal girders. Let's look around. If anyone knows or remembers what was here, let me know in the comments. Right, I'm just heading back over to where I believe the pub was. That was the toilet over there, I'm pretty sure of it. If you go over there, over that wall, there, you can actually see what looks like the toilet there. Bar would have been here. Yeah. And this would have been down into the cellar. Wouldn't be very, very good. Wouldn't it be great if you could just pull all that out and go down and have a look? Can you imagine the noise you're in here? You've got six railways just on the other side of that wall. Yeah. Flipping heck. I'm trying to have a bite of next meal. Tell you what, the amount of asbestos is a lot of it. Yep. Seems to have lost Lewis again, but we're going to go up the hill. Now I'm not sure what this pipe was to. Looks like it was a big pipe anyway. And a bloody big hole there that I nearly just walked into. So yeah, there you go, everyone. Here it is. The pudding bag estate. This is where the houses were. There's a street running down there. The street running down there. <coughs> uh, so, right, so well, we are now on top of the bridge that I said that he's going to look at me for. Doors we're dropping them on. 
that's the railway that we was walking down just earlier we're about to go up that way to a railway crossing let's go see this this line here again there was like two or three lines that came over here you can see the sleepers and that is where Let's go have a look at this railway Howard. <laughs> you doing, mate? See if we get down to other places. Oh, yeah. Oh, he will. He's a nut. <laughs> right, just walking down where the railway was. Again, railway is here. Railway is on that side. They go to the lower level. Going up to a railway crossing right now. Uh, that was just pointed out. Back with you in just a moment once we get there. Right, we have this railway crossing. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah, you can see though where the lines were. A new housing estate on the other side of where this bridge was now you can see part of the wall is still there I think the lower line went across there didn't it yeah that was the lower line yeah there's a Liverpool and Manchester line God, it's crazy when you look at this now, Pete. When you look at that, that new housing estate over there. Yeah. And you think that there used to be railroads going through there and a pretty big bridge and... I don't think there's any signs on this wall and any of these bricks either. 